let me log out because I don't have the access to FSM environment. Let me log in as an implementation user and add the roles and data access for my username. Let's go to security console first, attach the roles to the user. We required inventory roles here. So we have three roles for inventory. One is uh, warehouse manager. Another one is warehouse operator. Uh, we added the inventory roles here, warehouse manager, operator, and the inventory manager. Now let's go for add the data access for this user, setup and maintenance. We can choose data access, whether financials or procurement or order management, doesn't matter because this task is global task. We can access from anywhere and is data access for users. Now which inventory we required the permission 002 because our sales order has raised and the system has retrieved the sourcing warehouses 002. Warehouse operator, inventory organization, 00. So we got the permission to release the goods from the inventory organization called 00. And we got the sales order number. Once we provide the data access, let's go for uh, run the LDAP process so that users and roles information will be synchronized here.
let's log out from the implementation user and log in with the employee user. Or let's check the roles has been applied or not. Go to supply chain execution, inventory management. So the role has been uh, applied successfully to the user. Then we have to check the data access applied or not. Yes, data access also we got. So we got the permission for the warehouse called 002. Now 98413 is the sales order number. What we want to do is first we have to release the goods from the warehouse into staging area. From there, we will ship these goods to customer location. Okay. So what is the item name? First, we'll check the item name and how much quantity we have in sales order. How much quantity ordered that we will just cross check for testing purpose. Go to manage orders, go to task menu, manage orders. Create order is used to create the sales order. And this is for uh, search. This is the order number. Total six items, AS8500. That's the item name. Let's go back to inventory management. First, I want to verify item quantity in the warehouse called 002. Inventory organization is 002. Go for search. Forty six items we have. We have total forty six items in 002 inventory. With sub inventory, all the items are there in the stores. Now ordered quantity is only just uh, six items, so we can pick these items here. Go to inventory. We have to go with the picks. If it is for procurement, we are going to receive into a warehouse. So we have to go with the receipts. Now we are going to pick the goods from the warehouse. After confirmation, we'll ship these goods to customer location. Go to picks menu, create a pick wave. So that system will generate the pick slip number. Pick slip is basically to find out whether the items has been picked or not from the warehouse will find an important report a generated pick slip report now shipped from organization is 002 for which order sales order what is the order number 98413 uh, remove this scheduled ship date because maybe we can have different uh, scheduled ship date no need to worry about that one let's go for uh, enter the order number Now we are trying to release the goods from warehouse called 002 for the sales order 98413. System will take the item name, quantity, try to release the items here. Our system is showing that uh, the pick wave was released. Number of pick slips are one. Number of pick slips are one. So the goods has been picked successfully. How to find out whether it has been picked up or not? What is the pick slip number? There will be a report. We need to cross check from tools menu, scheduled processes. Let me refresh this page. We can find here print pick slip report. Let me open this. It's not completed. 
till it is ready status. Make sure that it is successed. It's been successfully completed. Print quick slip report. Can find the output file here. In case if there are any errors, we can find log file here. Let's go to republish option. It will allow us to export our output into HTML or PDF, any of the format. Now, in HTML system is clearly showing that this is a pick slip report. This is the pick slip number and uh, uh, goods has been picked here. And then I can see that uh, item name here. Total, how many items? Six items. How about uh, the warehouse? From which warehouse? It's zero, zero 002, right? This is our inventory organization. We can find the complete uh, release information here from inventory called 002. This is pick slip number and customer details. And uh, within the warehouse, from which sub inventory to which sub inventory? Right now, the goods are available in staging sub inventory. And internally, movement request also has been raised. Movement, movement request is basically moving the goods from one sub inventory to another sub inventory within the inventory organization. Okay. And I can see the item name and uh, sales order number. This is our sales order number. Yeah, that's fine. So we got all the details. Let's take this pick slip number and we need to confirm. Then we have to go for ship this process. Go back to our uh, inventory management. We need to confirm the pick slip and ship the goods. Now, if I go back to the items information, quantity, total quantity, it will be 46 items, but goods will be available in our uh, warehouse only, but uh, different sub inventories, you can check that. Let's go for search. We need to confirm that pick slip number, total 46. All 46 are there in stores only because we are not at confirmed the pick slip. Go to picks. We created pick wave. Now we need to confirm that pick slip. Already number is generated. We just need to confirm. Take the pick slip number. Click search button. If sometimes we may not get the result here, it will show that a record not exist. That time you have to remove the due date and then go for search. Because the due date might be different in our sales order page. Yeah, that's it. Let's remove the due date and search for the pick slip number. Now we got it. Take the pick slip number, confirm the picking from the sub inventory to another staging area. Check this checkbox, ready to confirm. You can go for confirm and close, or you can go to confirm and go to ship confirm. It means we are shipping the goods also to customer location. Let me go for confirm and ship confirm. It means we are shipping these goods to customer location directly. Let's go for uh, ship confirm. So we are shipping these goods to customer location.
you go for save and close. Now we can check the item quantity. Obviously, it will be 40 because six items has been released from the warehouse and shipped to customer location. Now let's go back to our uh, item quantity here. For the items, six items has been shipped to customer and we can find the order status also. Whatever the order we are using, we have used for release the goods. So let me check 98413 is the order number, right? Let's go for search this. Now we can find order status here. Awaiting shipping, that's the header level. Maybe it takes a couple of minutes time because we already shipped the goods to customer location, right? Go down. You will find order orchestration number here. I need to click on that. This is order orchestration number. We can get it. Now we are not getting this hyperlink option. Go down, go to the tab here, general tab. Here is orchestration process number. Click on this to find out. Uh, uh, sales order status. Now we can see the different statuses here. Initially order has created and scheduled. Then our goods has been reserved. Now we are in shipping status. Takes a couple of minutes time whether the goods has been shipped or not. We have already done that. We need to wait for a couple of minutes here. Let's click this button, refresh. After shipping, the next one is yes. Now we can see that uh, the goods has been shipped. Shipping status is done successfully. Or we are waiting for this task icon here. Now we can find that uh, the order has been shipped successfully and asset management is not uh, applicable for this. Asset management is not applicable for this. This is how we can go for release the goods from the warehouse. After releasing the goods, how we can go for ship these goods to customer location. That's the process. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat>